I'm just, uh, what do you call it? I'm gonna show you guys real quick how the rev limiter settings on this uh, Mega Sport work. Uh, basically, I was going and I had um, my soft rev limit set for, I think, 6700 with a max retard of uh, 10 degrees. So and then, uh, what do you call it? Like once I started hitting 6700 from 67 to what I had redlined for 7000, it would start retarding the timing. Uh, basically on top, then that would, you know, kind of hinder the performance um, of the cams because you know I'm retarding timing when I'm on top and boost, and then also you know change up the air fuel ratios whatnot. But then the biggest issue was that is once I hit the hard rev limit, um, I have fuel and spark cut for the hard rev limit and so it happens that that uh, RPM when that hits it does fuel and spark cut off so once it hits 7,000 it's like and then it hits it cuts off but then even though you're flooring it or doing whatever no timing I mean no uh, spark no fuel is being added until you go past 6700 again so as you saw in some of my previous races it's like i would pull off and then die back that's what was happening and i thought it was a boost cut so now i um you know figured it out did some you know reading on the forms and whatnot and of course i didn't have this issue when i was at 10 pounds um because you know i was able to slow down the crank or the motor but of course more power means more drastic measures so uh, I went and I changed my red line to 7200 since I got cams I was like you know what what the hell you know I'll still try shifting a seven gram but if I go past it oh well so be it so uh, we have that set you know for uh, 7200 the soft rev limit is at 7300 and what that does is basically disables the second, what do you call it? The second uh, rev limit. Um, if I still do hit it by mistake or you know whatever, then it'll cut out, or I guess retard timing. I don't know really how that works. Because honestly, that the ECU should um, reduce timing. I mean, uh, do fuel and spark cut. Don't mind my um, lack of mind, you know, just kind of went on a vacation this weekend and for Easter, whatnot, and late nights, a little bit of drinking, not too much, but, you know, camping, spring waters, the whole nine, so I'm kind of beat. But there goes that MS Droid, and of course, like I said before, I don't like it for the gauges but I do like it for the tuning. So now I'm just, you know, kind of just finding a empty place to go and uh, tune and whatnot. Or well, not even tune, I'm just gonna set some uh, ECU parameters, burn it, it'll shut off, and then um, come back and, what's that thing called? Uh, do that, so let me see my pool into right here. Alright, if you guys don't see me, it's probably because I got bit by an alligator. Alright, so here we go. Here's the ECU. We go menu, tuning, uh, engine contents. Now we go all the way down here to rev limiter. What I'm going to do, see I got fuel and spark cut. I'm going to change this to 2500. Come back here, change this to 3000. So you see, maximum retard 10, soft rev limit, whatever you had. I burn. All right, then shut off the car, which is great. So now here we go. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna hit red line. See what happens? It hits 3,000, then cuts off, and then doesn't come back till 67. All right, so now we're gonna go. I'm gonna just put this back at 7,300 to disable it. Burn. All right, this is the fun part when it does this, because then sometimes. All right, now, soft rev limit is basically disabled because it's 
beyond the hard rev limit. So now hard rev limit is at 3,000. All right, so there you go. So that's it. So that's basically how your settings will work if you don't want to be fucked up during the race. So, and then that's it. All right, guys, thanks.